Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for my client Saif's vlog, and uh, he wanted to do a little technique work on his deload week, so we talked about it, so it's slightly different than what you see on the sheet. So he went ahead and worked with the straight bar because he's now finding uh, he can grip the straight bar without any pain in his biceps. So we worked with that, you know, so he did his deload sets, you know, which are about 50% of his training max for sets of 10. Uh, with no plus sets first and you know that has its own thing that I, I think is amusing a lot of times people chime in and I've had multiple of my clients laugh at this they're like yeah these people are clearly clowns uh, in fact uh, Doug and I were chatting about this in a Skype yesterday and you know he was saying that yeah he's, he's shocked at the people who think that five sets of ten after doing an all-out plus set at 50 percent are uh easy and he's like they've clearly not really done it with any respectable weight meaning it's like if it's squats or something or or bench or whatever these are generally people who are sub 315 benchers sub 405 squatters right who, who think that it's easy uh because once we start the numbers start going up he even he said he's like yeah the first set's easy he's like the fourth and fifth set you're usually dying now, it's different on a deload week because, uh, you know, we're fresh. But look at that squat form. That's looking clean. We're going deep. He's got a good position on his back. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Right? I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here, you know, as his coach. Uh, this is good stuff. All right, so we're going to see some, some bigger squats coming up. If I can ever get him to start doing singles eventually uh, when we go away from this system in the, in the long term. But, you know, for now, we're still running this squat bench deadlift system that's running, you know, again, plus sets followed by tens and then uh, accessory work. So we do that. Then, he, of course, does some, some light belt squats on this uh, week also. And again, keep in mind the physical nature of his job. You know, I've actually had other people try to come in and say, hey, could you give him advice on this or that? I'm like, no, he has a phys physical therapist for his bicep. Um, and, and I'm not going to argue with or contradict his medical experts you know and I would want to ask that none of you do that do that either right this is someone who has a physical therapist they're helping him with his bicep stuff you know which is work related uh, and it's not really our business unless you're a physical therapist and you want to offer him your services for free and you can show him your credentials you know leave it alone all right so Benching, he also wanted to really mess with the wide grip. Uh, and I'm a little worried with the way that, you know, he unracks. I don't like that that sort of unrack, and I, I know it's popular in a lot of circles uh, because I do worry about the butt coming off the bench. But he had noticed, he's like, when I mess with this with the empty bar, there's no bicep discomfort. And he's noticed the same thing on this deload week. When he goes real wide, his biceps actually feel fine. So look at that range of motion you guys will look at that range of motion there okay and we got a few different angles of it here uh, man we might see some really big benches down the road right from him with that range of motion reduced especially since we've been building his pecs up because keep in mind when he first came to me he, he would had not been bench pressing All right he had been doing overhead press now we focus on the bench you know, and his bench has just been going up, up, up. This is someone who's really not trained his chest before. But for, you know, six months I've had him working his chest, actually doing benching, stuff like that. He's got other specialty bars now. Um, again, but look at that range of motion when he goes wide. It's short, and he's a thick, strong guy. Okay. I don't know. We're probably going to see some big, big bench presses out of him. Of course, so then on... Bench press day, we of course, we, we do the same thing, the 5 by 10s Then we do band press downs for his tendon health and his elbows, which you guys know I'm a big fan of the press downs for those and even for tricep and lockout development. Uh, so again, comes in, does his band work. So we see the band work here. Uh, again, very, very high reps. Um, 
I usually prefer my, my people be able to do at least 20 with whatever tension they're doing, but I'm perfectly fine with sets of 40 and 50 on these also for people, uh, which I oftentimes do. You know, you guys watch me lately do, you know, sets of 40 to 50 reps, you know, anywhere between like six to 10 uh, sets in an upper body workout at the end. You know, and I like a superset with my shoulder work, but I let my people kind of work on men how they need to. All right, deadlifts, he wanted to work on technique. And one thing I pointed out to him, because he says, well, I've been pulling slack out of the bar, so can I just do some, you know, some sets of five with light weight? And I'm like, sure, but I am worried about his lockouts because notice that the shoulders are rolled forward a little bit. I want to see his shoulders back better. I'm a little worried about some of his lockouts being considered soft if we're not really, really careful. So we've got to learn to, on deadlifting, follow through with those hips and get those shoulders back. Um, otherwise, we get red lighted at meets, and it's not a, a lockout. You know, it's just like we've seen a lot of these guys out here. You know, they'll put on straps and do these high handle pulls or whatever they're doing, and you know, and they can't even lock it out. I'm not going to name names, but you know, when I did used to watch YouTube Fitness, we used to see that, and it's like, yeah, you can't even lift it. You know, because you wouldn't see them be able to lock it at the top. Right, their upper back is still rolled forward, so it's not strong enough to lock the weight. So, you know, that's the idea of, you know, tell people just because you picked it up off the floor, you know, like a high handle deadlift, <laughs> you know, the high handle trap bar, just because you picked it up off the floor and managed to get your knees locked doesn't mean that you, you lifted it. You can't even lock it at the top, you can't lock the back. You know, come on, it's serious, people. But uh, after the deadlifts, he went ahead and did his, his good mornings. And, of course, we have a reverse hyper inbound now, which I am very excited about. Uh, again, what's going to happen to this guy's deadlifts? So we get his grip stronger, and we get that reverse hyper. Like I, I want him to start working on that axle bar again. I know he loves the seal rows, and I like them too. But I do want him to start working that axle bar more. I want to see... Uh, that grip come up. I want to see that grip come up. But these good mornings, good mornings and reverse hypers both, uh, those build big, big, big numbers, right? You guys know how I feel about both these exercises. Now I've got him able to do good mornings. He used to not be able to do them uh, due to hamstring pain, but now we've got the mobility. He can do them. He's got a reverse hyper coming. All right, here's his bicep work which is just high rep bands that's all we ever do for him uh, and it works just fine and then we finish up with more seal rows here at the end for the end of the deload week all right guys well that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i'll talk to you guys next time